What's up guys, Sean Keeley from Troy Nunes is an Absolute Magician and I'm um, hanging out here in Casa del Absolute Magician on uh, Sunday. As you can see, Syracuse basketball team, or maybe you can't see, I, don't, I have no idea what the depth of perception is, but um, the Syracuse basketball team just had a very impressive uh, home opener. They beat up on Wagner, Brandon Trish had 21 points, great game, but I'll be honest with you, I, I really didn't even watch the game because I was just so busy writing about this amazing 31 to 27 victory by the Syracuse football team on Saturday. Uh, number one, you're welcome because I reverse jinxed the team in my prediction when I said I want to believe that these guys can win a game like this. Uh, the second straight game in a row that was just a huge game with critical importance with the season on the line. Uh, but I just, you know, as a Syracuse fan, I just feel like we've been through this situation so many times and the way the program's been the last couple of years, I just couldn't buy into it. And they they proved me wrong. They, uh, you know, uh, I, I fully believe I jinxed, I reverse jinxed it. And, uh, and so again, you're welcome for that. Uh, and number two, I, I, you know, I remember wh when we went down 14 to three, um, it was the second time Missouri had won, run one of those uh, pass plays where the guy just took off and, you know, left our secondary in the dust. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, you know, we just don't have the athletes to keep up with these guys, or we just don't have the, the skills to keep up with these guys. And I know Missouri is just in the SEC for the first year, but, you know, even Big 12 talent. It, it just felt like, God, we can't even match up to these guys. And uh, you know what? I, it made me realize, and I know this is kind of cliche, but this team is kind of like they've got this Rocky mentality. And it's totally cliche, and I apologize. But it's like they just get beat up on early on again in games like this. They just take a pounding, and they let the opponent show them everything. They let Missouri show you, like, here's all of our tricks. Here's everything we're going to do to you. And then in the second half, they come out and they start punching and they start working the angles and they break out their weapons. And all of a sudden, you're like, like even though you're like, where was this team the whole first half? You're like, oh, they were just, you know, they were just holding back and, and waiting to see. I mean, I don't know if that's really what it was, but that's what it kind of feels like. And so, you know. At the end of the game, when they just went nuts in the fourth quarter and scored 21 points, it was like, man, like they hats off to to this team, to Doug Marone, to Nate Hackett. You know, I I've been one of the most vocal people about Hackett and his play calling, and he's not out of the woods. But you know what? Credit where credits due. I mean, they've just when it mattered most in in the last couple games, in the last really four of the last five games, they've really come through. And, uh, and hopefully this whole Rocky thing continues and they, uh, they end the Cold War. And, they, you know, even though they lose everything, they win back their honor on the mean streets of Philadelphia and uh, eventually prove to the, uh, to the next contender that they've still got it. Uh, and I think if we go to the Pinstripe Bowl and beat Iowa State, I think that's pretty much what, you know, that measures, that, that adds up. So... Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. And, uh, you know, go Orange. You know, fantastic win. And I'm really happy for the program and the fans. So uh, I'm Sean Keeley for Troy Nunes is an Absolute Magician. Go Orange.